Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the We Create Vision laser diode machine. I'd like to start with full transparency. Chances are you probably saw, I believe it's up in that corner, that this is a sponsored video. We Create did reach out to the Laser Channel and asked me if I would like to take a look at their ultimate package. The only thing that they asked of me is that I share my experience with you viewers, along with offering my honest feedback and opinions. Fair enough, let's take a look at everything that's on the table. I'll start with the Vision Laser Machine. This has a 20 watt laser module. I think that 20 watts is that perfect balance of power yet value pricing. This machine currently is offered in 20 watts, but there's plans to offer it in different laser modules, including an infrared module. Moving over to this side of the table, I have the fume extractor, and yes, this does include a full set of filters. It also includes an extra set of pre-filters. And the next question that I often hear on fume extractors is, yes, I did check out the manufacturer's website and all the filters for this unit are already available. Lastly, as a part of the ultimate package, this does come with a very nice set of bass plywood. I chose to get the color basswood that comes in this wide variety of colors. Let's take a little tour of all of the accessories included with this packaged machine. This test card was made off of this specific machine along with the engraving next to it. I have the user manual. I have two laser beds, the crumb tray, the two pieces of bass plywood, the ductwork adapter, one and a half meters of hose, power adapter with cord, USB cable, the nice adapter that can go on to the cable. These I use with my computer that I have. Wi-Fi antenna, a screwdriver for the hose clamp on the hose adapter, rotary chuck attachment with just some of the accessories included. And finally, the air assist pump included airline, and again, this attaches directly up to the machine. Next, I'm going to check out the fume extractor. This unit does include a bag that has two spare pre-filters inside. There's the user manual, hose adapter that attaches by friction to the top of the unit, two hose clamps, one for the machine, and one to hook up to the Vision laser machine. There's also another one and a half meters of hose, a smaller screwdriver, power cable, three zip ties with sticky bases to help keep your hose routing neat and tidy. Lastly, and I think my most favorite, is a remote control for the fume extractor. Curious what the filter packs look like inside? That makes two of us. Let's check that out. This all metal cover is held on with two latches, one to either side. And by the way, the rest of the chassis of the fume extractor, this is all metal. The first filter that comes out is the pre-filter, and this is going to be about one inch thick. Next is going to be the secondary filter, and this is going to be even thicker yet. And finally is the third and final filter. This contains an active charcoal filter. In fact, when I shake this, we can hear some of that charcoal. The first two filters that came out fit in the top of this filter. When I tip this up, we'll see that there's a nice little cavity here for those filters to fit inside. And it's just that easy to quickly access and check all of the filters on the fume extractor. Check this out, everything is all assembled and it only took me a couple of minutes. That's because the Vision laser machine comes all pre-assembled. The same thing with the fume extractor. The first thing we're going to see even before opening the lid is the lights are on inside of the cabinet. As soon as I open the lid, the lights turn off and this is a great way to make sure that the lid is fully and properly closed. 
Let's check out the laser module. This is the WeCreate 20 watt laser module. It has a nice, very flexible air line coming off for the air assist. Absent from this view is the power connection going up to the laser module, and that's because it's very neatly and cleanly tucked behind the laser module, and it runs along this back rail. The rest of the cables in the machine are kept neat and clean and out of the way with this nice energy chain. Here's the floor of the laser machine with the laser beds, these easily removed, and the crumb tray is located just below. As I pan back a little bit, we're going to see more of the internal structure framework of the machine. This too is going to be all metal construction. There's very little to no composite or plastic materials located inside of the machine. This also goes for the lid. The lid frame is going to be an all metal construction. When I go across the middle, there's one light bar and another light bar with the camera being located in the middle. Moving to the back of the machine, we're going to see all of the connection ports are very neatly and cleanly labeled. That's some pretty cool stuff on this machine. I'm going to take the fume extractor and move this to the floor behind the machine. There's three things that really drew my attention to the WeCreate Vision Laser Machine. The first one being the autofocus system that can range from one millimeter up to 100 millimeters. If I remove the laser bed material, that will increase from 100 millimeters to 140 millimeters, leaving me lots of room for many different types of projects. The second thing, and I may have mentioned this a couple of times already because I think it's really impressive. The framework, the enclosure of this machine, it is entirely made out of metal. With today's manufacturing methods turning towards composite materials, it's very refreshing to see we create is making a solid quality machine with a metal chassis. Normally I don't draw attention to the manufacturer's software on a machine, but this software is really feature packed. Not only does it take advantage of the autofocus feature on the machine, the camera system, it also gives me access to thousands of graphics. And if I just simply want to spend time with my machine making a project, I also have access to thousands of ready to make projects. If I'd like to personalize those projects a little bit more, I also have access to over 400 fonts. That is gonna ensure that I can find the perfect font for the perfect project. The Vision Machine includes six months of full access to that software with all of the graphics. That's going to be ample time for me to learn and explore the software, the graphics, and the machine. After six months, if I still want access to all the graphics, the projects, the fonts, it turns into a small monthly subscription of under 10 US dollars. Next, let's get the computer connected up to the machine and check out what the Make It software looks like. While I do that, I wanna leave you with a couple thoughts on the machine. This machine does have a top rated speed of 600 millimeters per second. I am going to be doing a performance and accuracy test of that in an upcoming video. That's why it's important to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. That way you'll know when more content comes out on the WeCreate Vision Machine. Welcome to the Make It software. This is what the landing screen looks like. I've clicked on Beginner Projects. I can scroll down. I like this coaster and I'll click Add to Canvas. It pops up a description along with some additional pictures of the project. I like the way that this looks and I'm going to click Make It. By clicking on that project file, it automatically opened up the application software for the machine. It's imported the project file and already connected my computer up to the machine for me. And it looks like it already snapped a picture with the camera of the work area and has the image of the project superimposed over that. What I'm going to do next is load in a piece of the sample basswood that is included with the machine. I 
I haven't played around with the software at all, so this is just as new for me as it is for you. And I think to get a new image on the screen from the camera, I'm going to click refresh. Yeah, that's exactly what it did, is it brought in a new camera image. And I'd like to try out the autofocus feature. Oh, look at that, we've got movement on the machine already. This looks like it's going to the maximum height and it's going to bring the laser into the middle of the work area. And it's going to do the autofocus sequence. When the project imported, it placed it exactly in the middle of the workspace and exactly in the middle of the workspace is where the laser head did the autofocus sequence. Out of this large piece of wood, I don't want to start a project in the middle. I'm going to drag over the top of it. So I select everything and I'm going to move it in a corner right here. That looks good. And if I click off to the side, it's going to see that it's defaulted to three millimeter basswood. When I click on my project again, I'm going to get the settings that it automatically picked for three millimeter basswood. I think I'm all set. Yeah, I think it's really just that easy. I'm expecting to still do more. That's why I'm pausing a little bit, but I've got the material loaded in, the graphics loaded in, I've got all the settings, it did the autofocus, I have the fume extractor on. All I have to do is hit start. It has an estimated time for me, and I'm going to send it out to the laser machine. I have a dialog box saying that it's sent it out to the machine, and I can hit the start button located right here. Couple minutes later and the project is all complete. Wow, this looks absolutely perfect. Let's get a nice close up of that clean, crisp detail. When I flip it around to the back side, there's no scorching. That's all due to that raised laser bed. This nice coaster is gonna be a great addition to my work table. This project, it was quick and easy, and I just can't believe that I was able to pick out a project in the Make It software and send it off to the machine, and it just made the project. It went by so quickly. In fact, I wanna do another project. I'm going to click on Home. Ah, no, I don't need to save this. And I like this model airplane. Let's do that one next. Once again, I have a couple preview pictures along with a nice description and I'll click make it. What I like about the camera is it tells me where I've already used space on the material and I can take this entire project and I can just slide it right up to the edge there, making sure that I'm not wasting any material. Can also scroll wheel in and zoom in. I think that all looks good. When I click off to the side here, We'll see the default material again is three millimeter basswood. That all looks correct. I'll start the fume extractor again and hit the start button. It really is this easy. I'm thinking that this was gonna be a much longer video, but being able to pick the project, it imports it into the software, and all I have to do is move the project around on the work material and hit start, and the software in the machine takes care of everything else. Before I hit the start button, I am going to autofocus the machine again. Once again, the dialog box says that it sent the project out to the machine and it's just waiting for me to hit the button on the front. See 
those project pieces fall right off of the main board. Here's a nice side view. We'll check out the other side. Beautiful clean cuts everywhere on this model airplane. These two fun projects are just a glimpse of what the Make It software and the Vision laser machine are capable of. While these two projects were running, I of course did have the fume extractor running. It is sitting behind the machine, right behind my table, and I wasn't able to detect any smoke while both of these projects were being made. Having ran the software a little bit to create two fun and quick projects on the machine, I've got a couple of first impressions and thoughts on the machine. This really is very quick to get the machine set up. Once again, it really is all pre-assembled. There's just a couple connections to make on the back of the machine, and those are all very clearly labeled. When I talk about some of the advanced features on the machine, like the autofocus and the camera system, that is already pre-calibrated and set up in the software. There was nothing that I did behind the scenes. I simply opened the software, connected up to the machine, which again was a breeze. It did it automatically for me. I didn't have to do anything extra. And all I do is hit the refresh button and the camera vision system takes a new snapshot of the work area. And when I hit the auto focus button, wherever my project is out in that work area, that is where the laser head goes and it sets the focus where the project is. It really is straightforward and simple. I mean, I'm still in a little bit of amazement with a machine that has this many features. It's really a one button click to get those functions to work and they work correctly the first time. And that I think is really cool. It's a great time saver. And I'm definitely going to be looking forward to making more video content on this setup.